Amanda. You know that song that we've been working on and working on? Yes, I do, just like I need you. Yes. Do you know that it talks about that kind of thing in the Bible? It does? It talks about needing each other and being a part of a body. Do you know what a body is? Well, I got a head. I got a nose. I got some eyes and ears and arms and legs. Yes, you do. So do we. But you know, there's another body that Paul talks about in the Bible in 1 Corinthians 12, verses 14. And it goes all the way down to, well, it goes to the end of the chapter, verse 31. And you can read that for yourself sometime. But you know, it talks about us needing each other. And what would happen, do you think, if you were at all an eye? Ugh, I don't think I would like to be all an eye. What do you think if I was all an ear? What? You would be a great big ear? Yeah, what do you think if I was like that? I don't think that would be good at all. Well, what about if I, I was all a foot? Well, how would you, uh, well... Huh? You can't just be a hoot. You, you wouldn't be able to eat or talk or do anything if you were a hoot. No, and that's what this talks about here in the Bible. Now, the body is not made up of just one part, but of many. You know what? Somebody can play the piano here in the church. Someone preaches. Someone teaches. Someone does the sound machine. We all work together to make things work. Now, what would happen if I um, cut my finger? Well, you would, you would go and get stitches if it was that bad. Yes, I would. How about, um, what, what else could I do to my cut finger? You could put a Band-Aid on it. And do you know what it says in here? That sometimes... We need to be concerned about each other because, you know what, in a church body, sometimes people do suffer. Maybe someone is sick. Maybe somebody has lost someone that they have died or they're, they're sad about something. And we, as a body, can help them. See what it says here? We, um, it says here in, let's see, where is it? Verse 26. If one part suffers, every part suffers with it. If one part is honored, every part rejoices with it. So if someone's happy, you can be happy. And if someone's sad, you can be sad with them. That's right. Maybe you're going to help somebody through a hard time. Or maybe you're going to rejoice with somebody who is really, really happy. Maybe they've had a new baby or they got married or they, they just got a new job or something really fun happened. So, you know, we're made up of many parts. And just like we are made up of many parts, so is the church. And so sometimes we hurt, we are sad, we are uh, happy about things, we are concerned about things, and we need each other. Amanda, would you like to sing your song? Yes, I would. Okay. Ready to sing? Yes, I am. A car needs the wheels to go, go, go. The goat needs the oar to row, row, row. The needle needs the thread to sew, sew, sew. Just like I need you. I do. Just like I need you. The watch needs the hand to tell it's time. The head needs a brain to make up its mind. We need you and me to make all kinds. That's why I need you. I do. That's why I need you. You know, Amanda, I wouldn't be a ventriloquist if I didn't have you. Well, I wouldn't have a voice if I didn't have you. You're right. The watch needs 
use your hands to tell it's time. The head needs a brain to make up its mind. We need you and me to make all kinds. That's why I need you. I do. That's why I need you. I do. That's why I.